in the last lecture we learned how to create a class and how to create objects from that class and an object created from a class is called as its instance now a class can have properties and methods in the last lecture we added some properties to our class now in this lecture let's go ahead and let's add some methods to our class so in this user class currently we have this name age and gender property and we also have a method so this constructor it is basically a method but it is a special method which gets called whenever we try to instantiate a class okay apart from constructor we can also have other methods so here let's go ahead and let's create a method for that all we have to do is we need to provide a name for the method so here let me call this method as greet user okay and after the name we use a set of parentheses and then a set of curly braces to write the body of the method now this method can also take some parameters but here what i want to do is i simply want to log a greeting message in the console and before that what i will do is i will change this name to first name okay and the same we will use here and then i'm also going to create another property called last name and this is also going to be of type string and here in this constructor function let's say we will also receive the last name all right and let's call this as fn so first name we want to set it to fn and we are also going to set last name so we'll say this dot last name equals ln now in this greet user function what we are going to do we are going to create a greeting message so here i'm going to create a variable let's simply call it as message and the message will be hello first name then let's give a little bit of space and then last name now here you will notice that we have an error so when we are trying to use this first name property and this last name property we have an error now why do we have this error well inside a method when we try to use a class property we cannot access it like this we cannot use it like this that's because when we use it like this typescript thinks that here we are trying to use a global variable or a variable which is created inside this greet user method it does not know that here we are trying to use the property of this user class now why it does not know that that's because this first name and last name can have different values based on different objects which we are going to create using this user object so in order to use this first name and last name property we need to use this keyword okay so we can say this dot first name and this dot last name and why do we need to use this keyword here that's because when we create an object using this new keyword followed by the class name this expression here it is going to give us a object and this keyword that will point to that particular object so when we are calling the constructor of this user class when we are creating this object at that time this keyword here it will point to that object for the second object this keyword here will point to this second object and when we are creating the third object this keyword here will point to this third object and in case of each object we have a different first name and different last name so we need to tell typescript inside this method which objects first name and last name do we want to use here okay and that's why we need to use this keyword because this keyword will point to the current object which we are using now here when we are passing the first name let's also go ahead and let's pass the last name okay so the errors are now gone and here inside this method we have created a message a greeting message now simply let's go ahead and let's log that message in the console so for that let's say console.log message so here you see we here we don't need to use this keyword because this message is a local variable so we can simply use it but when we try to use a property of a class inside a method we need to access that property using this keyword then only it will work okay now what we want is we want to call this greet user function 
let's say I want to call this greet user function for user one. So in order to call this greet user function for user one, we can say user one dot greet user. And now what it will do is when we are calling this greet user, we are calling it on this user one object. So here this keyword will point to that user one object. And in that user one object, the first name is John and the last name is Smith. So it should log hello John Smith. Let's save the changes and let's see that. So for now, let's comment these console.log statements. Okay. And let's save the changes. Let's refresh the page here. And you will see it logs hello John Smith. Now, if I call this greet user on user2, we copy it. Let's paste it here. And now, let's call this greet user on user2. So now, this keyword inside this greet user function, it will point to this user2. And for user2, the first name is Mary. And this last name is Jane. So now it should log hello Mary Jane. Let's save the changes again. And you see, for the second call of this greet user, it logs hello Mary Jane. So that's why we need to access the class properties using this keyword so that inside the method it will know which object's value it has to use. Now, just like a function, a method of a class can also take some parameter. It can either take no parameter or it can take n number of parameters. So let's also pass a parameter here. Let's call it maybe salutation. And this is going to be of type string. So now when we are calling this greet user function, there we also need to specify a value for salutation. And in the message also what we will do is here first we will use the salutation parameter. Okay. We'll use dot and space. All right. Now here let's pass the value for salutation. So here I'll pass Mr. And here I'll pass Mrs. Okay. And let's save the changes now. So now it says, all right. So salutation should come after hello. So let me copy this salutation from here. Let me cut it from here. And let's paste it after this string hello. And what we will also do is we'll add a dot then a space okay let's save the changes now and now it is properly logging the message so hello mr john smith and hello mrs mary jane so this is how we can create a method for a class and in a method when we want to use a property of a class we need to use it using this keyword this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it Thank you for listening and have a great day.